Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bye guys in the building. Uh, I told you I'm the life for the party. Why your guys want they try to lead that beat? Beating your head on gun, make me want to hack. So, but give me them sacks, you low Maggie. Mommy, see, I know be legal spender. I got a shitload of that legal tender. I'm thinking how we met is not coincidental. I can make your life just a little better. Uh. Have you ever been to Lagos? Hello and thank you for joining me today on Epops. My name is Adako Mwachinemere and we are here for the global reunion of Federal Government Girls College Oweri happening live in the city of Port Harcourt. It is a three-day long event of friends, sisters, old students coming together to wine, dine, connect, reconnect and of course remember old memories. Here we are today. I'm meeting with classmates who I left school 41 years ago. And they're here at this venue. We're all meeting ourselves. And we want to pass that culture down to the younger ones who are coming up. You know, sisterhood, evergreen sisterhood. That was the theme of this particular um, reunion. And the whole idea is just to make sure that let's keep the sisterhood alive. You know, shun the barriers of politics, shun the barriers of religion, shun the barriers of culture, and just remain who we were when we left school. I am happy to be here today because it's our reunion, and I'm happy to see old friends again, our seniors, our teachers here again today. We reunite members, help members to grow in their various lives, and we also bring back our gratitude to our school. We all have graduated from to help our young sisters come up just as we have come up. Coming out here every two years is always very wonderful. You know, you meet people that you never thought you were going to meet again in life, and you see them, you know, some fat, some slim, tall, different complexion, and then they are different endeavors. In 1998, we committed, we came together in my zone to make you know build an alumni little did we know where we're headed little did we know where this is hoping is headed and from one step to the other we have grown in leaps and bounds we've committed huge to the girl child the overall and wholesome development of the girl child we've done so much for our communities for one another in the sisterhood we've mentored we've helped people to grow their businesses We've attended to sisters' medical needs. In fact, it, uh, the list goes on and on, and it's just been an amazing journey. Most of us here, um, some of us have not seen ourselves for the past 40 years or more. So this is a very good opportunity for us to come back together and be those little girls that we were back in the day. We're helping the younger ones back in school. In our various chapters, we've helped them. Sometimes we're called upon to support for menstrual hygiene. So we buy things for them and send to the school. Actually, this association has completely built and handed over a full classroom block, six classroom block, two-story building to the school. We're actually mentoring the younger ones. We're also mentoring some of the students. You know, we have a big sister program whereby we go and talk to the girls. We also emphasize it's not all about academics. You can excel in other areas, you know. If there's somebody who might not be that book smart, but she's very creative. So we encourage her to explore her creativity and give her avenues to showcase what she can do. We're very much interested in one another, one another's welfare, you know, improvement and all that. Everybody is interested in the next person. That is the truth. The topic for today was actually um, having health and well-being through healthy lifestyle practices, through lifestyle medicine. And I did mention that lifestyle medicine is that um, um, new er medical specialty which uses evidence-based lifestyle interventions to prevent treats and oftentimes 
uh, reverse la, um, chronic diseases, which are lifestyle related anyway. So how does it help it? If we embrace these healthy lifestyle practices, we are more likely to become healthy. And what does health mean, according to WHO? It is not merely the absence of disease or infirmity, but a state of total psychological, physical, and social health. Hi, this is Abele Nadoze Hamilton Odom, and this is FGGC Oweri Global Reunion Garden City 2021. It's Mimi, I am in Fasako for the FGC Aware Reunion 2021 and I'm excited to be here. Yeah. FGC Aware. Class of ADA! This has been the Global Reunion of Federal Government Girls College Aware. Thank you for joining me. My name remains Adako Machinime. Until next time, don't stop believing in the beauties of your dreams. And if you have events, don't forget, Epox is your floor. See you some other time.